Hello. Well, today I want to talk about a film that I just rewatched uh, recently. Uh, it's a film I haven't seen in uh, quite a while, but uh, one I enjoy quite a bit. That is, of course, Network. Uh, news broadcaster Howard Beale, played by Peter Finch, uh, uh, is fired at the beginning of the film, and then his best friend, uh, Max uh, Schumacher, played by Willem Holden, uh, you know, uh, uh, he's saying he's going to kill himself, but they're also drunk. So, you know, Max doesn't believe him at all. Um, and then he goes live the next day saying he's going to blow his brains out instead of saying what you were supposed to say. And so, you know, uh, that come, becomes a big thing. And how, like, you know, oh, if you do that on the air, you're going to get a lot of ratings and there's going to be a lot of shares and so a lot of money. Uh, and then as the film goes on, clearly, obviously, you know, a lot of ups and downs. Howard Beale becomes a huge success. Um, but then also because of that success, uh, viewership later on uh, begins to drop and is costing money. And like, and they're not making money. And so, yeah, it's, this is such an, a, an interesting film, a, a really a fascinating film. You know, a lot of what kind of went on in that film, which t uh, came out in 1976, in various ways, is sort of, I guess you could say, relevant today in terms of network, uh, especially with how, as the film goes on, there's also a plot about, you know, terrorism or uh, violence going on, you know, organizations, uh, Robin Banks and terrorizing people and uh, focusing on crimes like of that nature and violence and how that's a huge uh, draw. You know, do a story about violence and you're no doubt people are going to tune in to see what's what's being talked about. Uh, you know, this is a a very good film. It's an excellent film came out 1976, as I said, and uh, came out the same year as Rocky and uh, A Taxi Driver, uh, two films I talked a bit about in terms of sort of like some films I really enjoy. May do some film, uh, some videos about those in particular. Uh, uh, Network, um, one, you know, it was directed by a uh, well, first off, Sidney Lumet, yeah, a very prolific filmmaker. Patty Chayefsky wrote the film, uh, and uh, he wa he wrote The Hospital uh, and Marty, which he received Academy Awards for, and he won an Academy Award for Best uh, uh, Original Screenplay. Um, Sidney Lumet also uh, directed Twelve Angry Men and Dog Day Afternoon and, uh, you know, other films that were very popular and beloved. Um, Peter Finch passed away after this film came out and he won an Academy Award, becoming the first person posthumously to win an Oscar. Uh, Though, um, some have often debated whether or not uh, Finch was actually the lead of the film, because, you know, as you watch the movie, he seems to be a supporting actor. You know, while he was in the forefront uh, in, the, in the film, you know, as soon as Diane Christensen, played by Faye Dunaway, uh, comes into the picture, uh, you see a relationship between her and uh, Max, uh, played by William Holden. And, uh, so, uh, you know, there is, there is that, um, you know, Beatrice Strait, uh, you know, won an Academy Award for, uh, Best Supporting Actress, and, um, as, a uh, Max's wife, and she, you know, uh, is one of the shortest uh, Oscar wins for any category. Like, she's, like, only in for five minutes of the whole film. Um, you know, and, uh, like, that's how 
much she's on screen is five minutes. Um, Faye Dunaway won Best Actress. Um, William Holden was nominated for Best Actor, but because of uh, Finch, uh, he lost. Uh, and I, rem I remember reading somewhere that Holden thought Finch should have been uh, nominated for Supporting Actor, since he was pretty much the principal lead. And, you know, re-watching the film, I kind of get that. I see, like, you know, he's primarily the lead actor. Yes, uh, Howard Beale is quite important, but uh, as uh, the film goes on, you see more and more of Max than you do of Howard. Um, Robert Duvall is also very excellent. Um, somebody who uh, comes in and starts uh, uh, taking the place of uh, somebody in the company uh, uh, Howard and uh, Max work for, and he fires Max. Because he's wanted to fire him for a long time, but, you know, he just was not a part of that branch, uh, basically, at that point, to make such a decision. But then he gets to that position, and so he fires him and gets rid of him. Um, this is just an, a really good film. Uh, not my favorite film of 1976. Um, uh, Taxi Driver, for me, is the best film of... 76. I love that film a lot. Wish that film won Best Picture. Um, wish Scorsese was nominated for Best Director. Um, but, you know, Lamette was definitely deserving of his nomination for this film. De Niro, I think, should have won Best Actor. Um, uh, but, you know, Finch and Holden also gave incredible performances. Some have often thought perhaps it's because of Finch passing away that swayed voters. Um, you know, maybe that is the case for some. Perhaps some did uh, vote because he passed away, and so give him like an award uh, posthumously. Um, who's to say that it did not happen? Uh, I don't know. I was not obviously there back then. I didn't exist in, the, in this world. So, and if I did, I probably would not at all have been an academy had no <laughs> hearing of conversations of, if any, about voting uh, for best actor. Um, but perhaps that was a part of it. You know, he passed away, you know, and he gave a great performance, so since he's nominated, vote for him, and he wins. Um, his wife, I saw, accepted his Oscar. Um, but yeah, even though I do both prefer De Niro to Holden and uh, and um, yeah Finch, they both uh, did incredible. They gave incredible performances. Duval plays a character who you love to hate throughout the film. Uh, uh, Faye Dunaway's character, she is a character who really doesn't seem to have any emotions. It's like her life was essentially revolved around TV. He wants to be like the big uh, uh, big TV exec and uh, she seems to get to that position but then things don't always <laughs> pan out the way uh, you know hoped once uh, Howard Beale becomes a big success from his ramblings uh, like seemingly having a midlife crisis or something happening but because oh well he maybe he's a prophet maybe he was spoken by something uh, some sort of spiritual awakening and the public needs to hear him. People will listen to him, and they do. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, of course, you know, there's a, I'm mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore. You know, one of the most famous quotes of all time from this film. Uh, and I do think that uh, the, the screenplay of Taxi Driver deserved to be uh, nominated as well. But Patty Chayefsky's script... Is fantastic. It's incredible. Um, there has been a link to a real life uh, suicide on the air that people have often uh, a credit to being some sort of inspiration for this film. Uh, Christine Schubach in, uh, in Florida, um, if I recall correctly, like '74. Um, she uh, was quite depressed and uh, 
killed herself on air. And um, it's been said that that was an inspiration Chayefsky had. Though he said that was not at all an inspiration, but he had heard, I think he might have heard of it, if I, or maybe he didn't, but maybe it was just brought up to him quite often. Um, but of course, um, I guess spoilers, uh, uh, Howard Beale never kills himself on the air. He never blows his brains out, as he says he was going to do in the beginning of the film. But, uh, you know, uh, that is something that people often linked to Network because uh, it was uh, news related, you know, a news woman, you know, because of something that failed during a broadcast. Uh, so, like, they were going to play a newsreel, didn't happen, and so she, because of like violence, that was a thing. Violence. There's a lot of violence in in this film. There's a subplot about violence. You know, people being violent and. Uh, and as a result, you know, that there's also, I guess, more parallels. And so, and she d decided to keep in with that tune, and she killed herself. She had been planning to do that, whereas, uh, Howard Beale kind of just came when he was burned at the beginning. He was fired, and had two weeks left, and so he decided that's what's going to happen. And on his very last day, it's how he was going to go out. Um, but... You know, this film is a very good film. It's a very, it's also funny. There's a lot of funny moments, black comedy. Um, so if one isn't fond of that uh, sort of thing, uh, that kind of humor, black humor, gets quite dark. Might not be for you, um, but this is, I think, a very good film for those who have never seen it. And for those who have seen it, uh, it is an excellent movie. Excellent performances, great direction, writing, all of that. Uh, I, I, I just really enjoy this film. Uh, definitely deserving of the praise it has gotten over the years. Um, but what do you think? You know, uh, This is just a very, I think, a really excellent film. Uh, uh, and do you think perhaps uh, William Holden had a point that uh, maybe uh, Finch should have been up for supporting actor instead? Um, but then again, a lot of people think, you know, Burgess Meredith and Rocky should have won the Oscar that year. And I'm actually one of those people. I do think he should have won. Um, but again, that's me. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. What do you think of this film if you've seen it? Do you... Uh, like it, dislike it, uh, love it, one of your favorites, or maybe you didn't enjoy it much. If, if whatever the case, you can most definitely leave a comment if you want. And uh, yeah, and until next time, uh, I hope you all have a great day, great weekend, and a great week. And I'll see you guys next time.